Hey guys, Bearfox here and today I will be showing you guys how to increase FPS and decrease lags and stutter in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. I hope this helps you out, so make sure you stick around till the end. I will also be showing you guys the best in-game settings for low-end PCs, so don't skip out any step. Also, please consider subscribing to the channel since 96.8% of you guys haven't done yet. And with all this said, let's get started with the video right away. Alright, let's move with step number one, that is enabling the game mode and graphic settings. For that, search for game mode and then open game mode settings. Once you are here, make sure the game mode is enabled. Then on the right side of your screen, you'll find something called graphic settings. Click on it and you'll be on a screen like this. Make sure that hardware accelerator GPU scheduling is turned on and then click on this browse button and then go to the download location of Fortnite. Now once you're in the Fortnite folder, open up Fortnite game, then go to binaries and then Win64 and you'll find 4 applications like this. Now we are worrying about Fortnite launcher and Win64 shipping. So open Fortnite launcher, hit add, then go to options and then make sure that you use the highest performance over here and then hit save. Similarly do for the Fortnite client Win64 shipping. Now once you're done with this, close the settings and then download the FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Once you downloaded the file, extract it and it will open up just like this. You'll find in 4 folders, the first one is command files. All you have to do is right click on these commands and then run them as administrator. After running the commands, you'll find the registry files. Open it up, right click and then hit merge. Do it for all of those 3 files. Once done with that, open up the software folder and you'll find 2 softwares over here. First one is the mem reduct and the second one is part control. I'll explain how it works. First, open up Park Control. Once you open up Park Control, click on this drop down and then select with some highest performance. It should automatically roll all of these bars to its maximum. Then, click on these two options and then hit apply. Once done with that, go to your control panel and over here search for power. Then go to power options and then make sure that you're using with some highest performance. Now go back to the same folder and open up memreduct. Once you open up memreduct, as you guys can see, my computer is using a 43% of its memory. As soon as I hit clean memory and I hit yes, the memory usage falls down. I highly recommend you guys using memreduct every time you open up a game. Once done with that, open up timer resolution and then make sure to click on maximum and then minimize and let it run free. Once you're done with all of those steps, open up the Epic Games Launcher. Now, once you're here, you'll see Fortnite installed. Just click on these three dots and then go to options and make sure you uninstall the high resolution texture as well as Fortnite save the world if you don't own it. For me, I only save the world so I'll leave it as it is and I'm gonna uninstall the high resolution textures. Just uncheck if it is checked and then hit apply. And if it is not checked, then leave it as it is. Once you've minimized the Epic Games launcher, I highly recommend you guys to use exit lag. It is a free to use software which you guys can use for 3 days without using your credit card. All you have to do is download exit lag from the link in the description below. The best part of exit lag is that it has over 250 games to select from. For me, I'm gonna select Fortnite. And then, once you select it, you have to select a game region. For me, it's gonna be Asia and under Asia it's gonna be IN which stands for India, Mumbai 01. Then check the first box and then leave the settings as it is. It automatically shows you guys what will be the best estimated ping for your game. As it says, it's 3ms for me. As soon as I hit apply routes, 
Fortnite gets automatically selected in the recents. Once you're done with that, from the home section, select the tools section. And once you are here, make sure to enable the second, fourth and fifth option. Then for the accuracy, select high and then check all of these options. Then go to the FPS boost and make sure to enable the first, fourth and the second last options. Please note that you guys can use exit lag for the first 3 days for absolutely free. Then, if you guys can see improvement in your performance or your gaming, you guys can consider buying the subscription for exit lag. Don't worry, I got you covered. You guys can use code bearfox20 to get flat 20% off on your first purchase on any monthly, semi-annual or quarterly subscription. Once you're done with this, you're ready to get into Fortnite. While our game loads up, I wanna let you guys know about Booya, a platform where gamers from all over the world are sharing best of their gameplays. They have this amazing event going on called Hello Moco, where you guys can share best of your Free Fire gameplays and get exciting in-game rewards. I highly recommend you guys do not miss this opportunity for free stuffs and let's get back to the video. Now once you are in game, click on these three dots and then go to settings. Now once you are here, limit your frame rates to 240. Make sure you play on the full screen and your resolution should be 16 is to 9. For brightness, select 90% of brightness and then scroll down. Now in the quality presets, always go for low and then Stretch your 3D resolution to 100. Scroll down and then turn off VSync and Motion Blur. Enable Show FPS and for the rendering mode, always use Performance Alpha. Also, allow multi-threaded rendering should be turned on and then NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency should be on plus boost. Once you're done with that, hit Apply. As you guys can see, my game immediately went smoother as soon as I selected these settings. Then go to this settings gear over here and then make sure you use auto matchmaking region. Then scroll all the way down and make sure you guys turn off all of these things. Fortnite is ready to go and you guys will get the least and minimum FPS drops as well as input delay. I hope this video helps you out and if it did, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a ton. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.